Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali. If you guys are not already subscribed, definitely do so. I make a lot of Austin content and just vlogs in general. Today we are going to Austin City Limits and it's actually my first time ever going to a music festival. So I'm getting a little nervous to be honest, but I know it's gonna be so fun. It's also very freaking hot outside. So I just applied some sunscreen and I have my super group unseen sunscreen like under my makeup. But yeah, it is a hot one today and tomorrow's gonna be even hotter because it's a longer day of ACL. We're we're planning on leaving soon it's like three right now and we do have a parking pass we're actually going with honda stage so we have a three-day vip pass and um a parking pass and we have access to like the side stage of the honda stage i did hear that they close it off for like the two big acts like miley and meg the stallion which sucks because i feel like that's the ones i would want to like use the side stage for but we'll see i'll most likely vlog with like my mini camera or my iphone i feel like iphones are just like so much easier i feel like iphones are just so much easier because you just have it in your hands so this will be majority iphone slash mini camera vlog planning on just like bringing a couple drinks to the car and chugging some Topo Chico seltzers before we have to leave um, and get on the shuttle to go to Zilker Park, which is where the festival is. I'm packing my bag right now. I got this clear bag on Amazon. I got so much stuff on Amazon, honestly. Um, these are like rum runners. We were planning on sneaking in alcohol, um, but I think we're just gonna do that for tomorrow because I found out that VIP actually gets free drinks. But the thing is like the lines might be a little bit long. So I think we're gonna try it out tomorrow. Um, but got my Vax card, all my lip stuff. I got like two sunscreens. I don't even know if I'll need those. Um, but I also, ooh, where's that fan? It's charging. I also got this fan off of Amazon and it's actually like really powerful. Apparently it has a really long battery life too. So that's nice. It has like the first speed, the second speed and the third speed. It, it like feels really good and it's a charger. So this was a really good Amazon find. So I need to put this in my bag and then got my mini camera. I don't know if I should bring it. Ryan, should I just vlog on my iPhone instead of bringing my camera? Yeah. Okay, sorry you guys. <laughs> I feel like the iPhone's just gonna be easier for me to like vlog and stuff. Um, but oh shit, my storage is so full right now so I'm gonna do that in the car. I'm gonna like just delete everything. And that's what I was trying to do today. I was trying to import some videos over to my computer so I can delete them. Time flew so fast today. I had so much like random little work to do. I wanted to edit a vlog, which I did, but then I edited it too late. So now I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to post it. Also our house is a mess right now because we're just being chaotic right now. Well, at least I am. Okay, I was gonna go for like a country look tonight because John Party is playing. My top is glass suns. I thought it was glass ons, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I knew I was saying it wrong. And then my shorts are gold day. These are the D shorts in like super high rise or something. And then I have my boots. I got them in Georgia, like in high school. I have no idea what the brand even is. I was gonna go for the cowboy hat just cause I feel like every day I want a hat, but I feel like it's a little too much. I kind of even feel like the cowboy boots are a little too much just cause Ryan's not really doing country. I honestly just feel like these boots are pretty comfortable. And also I hate when grass like touches my leg cause then I get like really itchy and shit. So I think I'm just gonna do the boots. No hat, still go for that country look. Honestly guys, it was so hard finding a top that wouldn't show like my scars from my surgery. And honestly, I totally forgot that I bought this cause it was sitting in the couch over there and not in my closet. So thank God I found this. Um, but the other days I bought something on Amazon Prime. It was supposed to get here like yesterday and I think it's gonna get here tomorrow, which it was tomorrow's outfit. So I think I need to just like rethink all my outfits, but it's okay. I'm not really worried too much. I'm also checking this liquid IV stuff. I really like this flavor it's tangerine gotta stay hydrated I parked in the staff parking lot since I went with a brand and we got shuttled into Zilker Park and we had a separate line for VIP, which was a lot shorter than general admission. We went straight to the VIP area and we used their AC bathrooms, which was a game changer. And before we explored ACL, we got some drinks at the bar, which again are free. And they offered a bunch of stuff and honestly really good liquor too, like top shelf. We went up to this double decker viewing deck kind of thing and Machine Gun Kelly was playing at this time. We then 
then went to explore the festival grounds and take photos near the infamous flags. And then we went over to the Honda stage where I had the side stage passes. Over here, they also offered alcohol, but no mixed drinks. So they had beer, wine, Topo Chico seltzers. They also had a bunch of snacks, which was my saving grace during the whole weekend. No one was on at this time, but I still wanted to go check out the side stage of the Honda stage. It is day two of ACL and honestly this weekend is just going so fast um, because I feel like we didn't even wake up that late but we're going to brunch with some friends at 11 and it's currently 10 14. Um, I have my makeup done but I wanted to do something like cool to my hair. This is like the shilling hat that I got on Amazon. I have to link it for you guys. It's a really cute accessory to add to like any fall outfit but Anyways, I just don't have time to do the hairstyle that I wanted to because I'm not really too familiar with it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have to do like kind of like brunch braids. I feel like everyone's gonna be doing those like bubble ponytails, which that wasn't what I was gonna do. But <clears throat> I feel like I should just do French braids. So I'm gonna take these little two pieces out and then maybe start braiding from there. Also, my voice is like kind of shot, I don't know. Like I didn't lose it fully, but my throat kind of hurts, so that's not good. And I feel like I wasn't even screaming or anything, so I don't know how that happened. VIP is honestly so cool. Um, I mean, just getting free drinks is like awesome. So you don't have to like worry about anything really. But today we're going to Eastside Tavern for breakfast. They used to have bottomless mimosas, but apparently like something with like a lawn Austin or Texas, you can't do that. Like, I think it's illegal or something. So, they just sell like really cheap crafts mimosas now. Um, but honestly, with this VIP thing, like, we got free drinks so often. And in the VIP one, we weren't allowed to bring the drinks outside, which kind of was annoying because. You know, what if we wanted to just like have a drink in our hand during the show? But the Honda stage one, they allowed us to like bring it outside, which was cool. Um, but they didn't have liquor over there. They just had like Topo Chico seltzers and beer, wine and everything like that. Which honestly, let me just take a moment to thank the Austin, Texas lords that there was Topo Chico seltzers and all that like White Claw everywhere. I feel like people are probably over White Claw now. But I just feel like it burns so much and Topo Chico's are so much better. So I was very happy about that. Um, but yeah, Meg was selling yesterday. She was probably like our favorite. Miley was good too, but I think we were just like in the back. So, you know, I feel like that definitely makes a difference when you're, how close you are to the stage. Okay, this is what I have so far. I hope it's turning out good. I don't think I'm going to braid all the way down. I think I'm going to leave a little like ponytail and curl it a little bit. ACL outfit of the day, we got this champion like sports bra tank top kind of thing. Um, I got this on Amazon, tennis skirt is from Amazon, my freaking hat is from Amazon, and then I'm wearing Ryan's like Lululemon uh, socks and then Air Force Ones. I'm wearing my dirty ones on purpose and then same jewelry from yesterday, Goriana, I added a couple more Goriana bracelets and then Amazon earrings. Before going to the festival, we carved up at Eastside Tavern with some of my friends, and then we headed to Zilker Park for day two. First things first, we took our OOTD photos near the flags, and then we saw surfaces, and we were actually able to go on the side stage for this, so it was really cool. 
Then we explored the other side of Zilker Park that we didn't see yesterday, which had all of the vendors and food. And we actually got some empanadas, which were delicious. We also saw that there were a bunch more tents and stages and everything like that. We found the second VIP Grove on the other side of Zilker Park. And this is where they actually give out all the free food. And there's a bunch more vendors in here that actually give out a lot of free stuff. Happy Sunday, it is day three of ACL and I'm starting off the morning with some self-care because I feel like my skin needs it, my body needs it, my body is really just tired. Luckily, both of the days I did not wake up one bit hungover, so I'm really happy about that because coming from a person that's not gone to music festivals, um, that was like my main concern. Like I never understood how people would drink three days in a row and just not feel like shit every single morning. I'm here to tell you it's doable. So like when we get into Zilker Park, we just start kind of like chugging drinks. In the past two days, we went around like three, four. Um, yesterday, I feel like we were there at like 2.30 maybe. So by the time you're ready to go home, you're pretty much completely sober. At least I was for both days, which is honestly the best thing about day drinking. Like if anything, you get your hangover like the same day and you don't have to feel it the next morning. So I know ACL is very different than other music festivals, especially like EDM music festivals and stuff like that. But I'm glad this was my first music festival because I felt like it was a lot more chill. I would totally go again to ACL at least. I don't know about any other music festivals just because like I'm not really that into music and I feel like maybe next year they'll have a better lineup. But we saw Billie Eilish last night and her brother is Phineas and he is dating Claudia. She's a YouTuber that I've literally been watching since I started watching YouTube. And I just think they are so cool. Like, it's so cool how she's dating him and like he's in the vlogs and stuff. So it was cool to see him on stage. And obviously I love Billie Eilish. Um, and then we saw Rufus De Soul, which I've heard so much about, but I did not know any of his songs, but I'm gonna start listening to him because he was kind of like a, a version of Coldplay, I wanna say. I can't remember who else we saw. We saw Surfaces. Um, apparently they're from College Station, Texas. Me and Ryan were like, they're definitely like Florida boys, but no, <laughs> College Station, which is very surprising to be honest. We got Bird Bird Biscuit for breakfast. Um, do you always get the queen beak or you switch it up sometimes, right? Yeah, I have the queen beak too with an egg. It's like so good. It's fried chicken sandwich with like the spicy mayo and like spicy honey. And then I always ask for more spicy, Honey on the side. Where is that? Oh. I got egg on mine. Ooh. You should have told me. You should have ordered it. Well, I didn't know that was a choice. So today, I think the only person that me and Ryan would really want to see is Tate McRae. Well, he doesn't really care, but <laughs> I don't want to see her. But she's at 2.30. Just like prime peak uh, hot hotness. It's but overcast. it's so weird. It's like overcast right now, but it's like really humid out there, so. All good. Day three outfit is this Amazon workout set. I'm just kind of being lazy today, um, but it's literally one of my favorite Amazon sets. It's the one that has adjustable straps too. And then I got this hat from Aviator Nation. It says Austin City Limits Music Festival with that smiley thingy. And then again, Air Force Ones. Also pro tip, break your hair one day and keep it in overnight. And then it comes out like you did your hair and you actually spent time on it. The theme of today is lazy as you can see because I'm not even really wearing makeup. Um, I did my brows, but that's about it. On day three, we were spoiled with a coach bus. Honestly, just thankful we got a shuttle. But we entered the festival ground as Tate McRae was playing. I know you like this. 
And since it was midday, we thought we would take advantage of the free food in VIP Grove. So we went into there, got some drinks and the free food, which honestly they had so many good options. We got the mushroom tacos and they exceeded my expectations. Like I said yesterday, there were so many vendors giving out free things. So Tiff's Treats was there giving out free cookies. Um, and then Tito's was giving out free dog bandanas. It's 6 p.m. and we just got home and the best person we saw today was Tate McRae. Honestly, she's so good and I kind of just wanted to see her because I know she's going to get so much more famous than she already is. I mean, she's like on a bunch of features right now and the last song was obviously the best and then we got this Tito's bandana and we got Sophie's name embroidered right there. Do you like your present, Sophie? I totally thought like I would see so many more people wearing this hat there because I thought they were selling these hats there at least they were selling their shirts because my friend bought one last weekend but i had people ask me where i got it so i felt special because i had no idea i didn't even where was that tent the aviator nation tent did we see it no it's just the merch tent oh got it let's give our thoughts about acl and if vip is worth it honda stage sent me to acl and they got us vip tickets and access to like the honda stage side stage so apparently you have to be like staff for honda or like invited as a guest um so you can't pay for the honda stage stuff but you can pay for vip and vip is like 1300 dollars. do you think it's worth it if it's like a really busy day yeah because the free drinks and the free food and i'm stuff not really sure if you can get day like one day vip sure i saw people that said like saturday vip because yeah i would definitely do it on saturday obviously sunday like there wasn't that many people that we wanted to see so we didn't stay long at all um but maybe that was just this year's lineup next year if there's an option to get like the one day passes i would definitely go for the saturday one just because i feel like the free drinks the ac bathrooms the the free food i mean there was a lot honestly and also the free food is only during certain times it's kind of during the midday so like i would say two to maybe five maybe six but i feel like a lot of people were closing down yesterday once we found out that there was like a second vip section which was the bigger one actually with all the food